This video will cover the topic, graphing a parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus c. Let's take a look at the example, y equals x squared plus 1. In this case, a is 1, and c is also 1. In this form of a parabola, the vertex will be at 0, comma c, and the y-intercept will also be at 0, comma c, because when we substitute x equals 0 into the function, we see that c is the y-value. How do we also know that the vertex is at 0, comma c? We know that it is at that point because the formula for the x value of the vertex is x equals negative b over 2a. Because we have no b in this function, b is 0. So when we substitute that into the small equation, we find that the x value of the vertex is 0. And then we substitute in 0 to find that the y value is c. We can also prove this is the vertex when we plot the rest of the points of the graph. What would be the best way for me to plot the points? The best way for those that are just learning this topic for the first time is to make a table. We'll make a table of values for x equals 0 and a couple of values on either side of 0, such as negative 2, negative 1, 1, and 2. So we already know that the vertex is at 0, comma 1. So when x equals 0, x squared plus 1 equals 1. Now let's start with negative 2. When x equals negative 2, we substitute it into our equation for y negative 2 squared plus 1 equals 5. Now we'll do negative 1. Negative 1 squared plus 1 equals 2. And then 1 squared plus 1 also equals 2. And then 2 squared plus 1 equals 5. So we will now plot these points. Let's start with the point 0 comma 1, which is also our vertex. And then we'll plot the point negative 1, comma 2. And then let's plot 1, comma 2. And then we can plot negative 2, comma 5. And lastly, we can plot the point 2, comma 5. And then our finished graph looks like this. OK, so we first find the vertex by plotting 0, comma c. And then we plot a few points on the either side of the vertex to find the final parabola. Correct. You developed a good understanding. 